If you have run a chkdsk command to check your disk for errors and then you wonder where you could find the result after closing the command prompt, I will show you the answer in this video. And at the end of the video, I will show you a tip that will allow you to access the chkdsk results every time with simple clicks. So stay tuned. Hey, my name is Zin. Welcome to another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn Windows, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss anything. CHKDSK, the check disk utility, is one of the most popular Windows utilities. It's the utility everyone uses to repair bad disk sectors and corrupted system files. CHKDSK command can be run manually from the command prompt or automatically by Windows 10 at the boot to check the computer disk consistency. When you run chkdsk from the command prompt, it starts checking the disk throughout many phases. And in the end, it will show you the scan result. The question though is, where are you going to find the results when you close the command prompt? The answer is in the event viewer log. To open the event viewer, just type event in the start menu. Then click on the event viewer app. On the event viewer main window, expand the window logs group. Then click on the application log to display all the events generated by applications and the tools. You can see here the latest event related to the chkdsk command I just executed. Sometimes the chkdsk event is not immediately visible in the application events and you need to search to find it. I'm going to give you a tip so that you are going to get rid of all the other events and only show the chkdsk events. On the actions panel, click on filter current log. In the event source drop down box, you need to select two event sources. The first one is chkdsk to display the chkdsk command results that have been executed manually. The second one is the winInit source, which contains the chkdsk command results that run at the Windows 10 boot. When done, click OK to apply the filter. And here it is. I only get the chkdsk events displayed and get rid of all the other unrelated events. In this filter, I have a few chkdsk commands I run manually and one chkdsk that has been run automatically by Windows 10. On the bottom, you have the command results you can read and if needed, you can double click on the event and copy the results. You can then paste them, for example, in an email you sent to the IT support. At the beginning of this video, I told you that I would give you a tip that will allow you to quickly access chkdsk results without doing all these searches and filtering. What I'm going to do is to create a custom view based on the actual filter. To create a custom view, I click on the Save Filter to Custom View link in the Actions panel. I need to give my custom view a name. Let's name it CHKDSK View. Click OK. The custom view is now available under the Custom View group. So whenever I want to check the CHKDSK results, I need to open the Event Viewer and then click on my custom view. And voila! I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel.